Hey folks, Captain Dave here. Thanks for taking the time to watch another one of the Jetty Wolf videos here on YouTube. It, today is the uh, 22nd of September and I'm with Donna and Sean and we're heading to the Jetties one more time. Here's Donna with the first hookup of the morning on a shark. And as you can see, I'm there with Sean trying to get those sticky Matsuo hooks out of my shirt. All right, you got good form. You got good form there, Donna. You're doing good. You just got to hang tough now. <laughs> Go like a, woo. No, that's amazing. <laughs> Donna got tired and Sean took over, but as what usually happened uh, the whole entire day is the sharks ate the hooks right off the line. Here I am showing what's left of the rig. It's all spun up, the sinker's gone, and the hook was bit off of 50 pound mason hard type nylon and um, there's just no stopping these guys mullet run mullet run this is for you Jeff in Fort Lauderdale Yeah, it's real easy to get greedy on the bait. I ended up dumping out three quarters of that net full right there. And just with what you see I have, I've got way more than I could ever use. Well, as you can see, I'm only keeping the smaller ones and I'm throwing a whole bunch back still. While I was messing around getting all those mullet into the live well in the cooler, Donna was hooking jacks and ladyfish left and right. She was hooking them everywhere but the mouth, and I don't know how she did that, but she had a heck of a knack for it. Oh, he's going to get tangled up. Oh, it's a ladyfish. Look at that, another foul. How come you keep foul hooking these ladyfish? Look at this, Dave. It don't matter how I do it. <laughs> Look at that. Look at that. Okay. Here she goes and does it one more time. Hey, hey redfish. Our only redfish that made it past shark jaws. He's going to be too small. Here's where the frustration really kicked in. We're sitting on the inside of the North Jetty as the tide's falling, using cut mullet on the bottom, and the black tips and spinner sharks, we were, we were hooking them up left and right, had at least a half a dozen hooked up, and no matter what we did, they'd dump the spool, fly through the air, pull the hook, bite the leader, you name it, they did it. They were a whole different kind of animal. I even bumped it up to 200 pound test, the exact same thing I use when I'm behind the shrimp boats and successfully catch the exact same sharks. Well, after catching jacks, ladyfish, sea bass, croakers, whiting, having fish eaten off the hook by sharks, losing sharks to complete craziness, this is what we ran into. Five manatees just hanging out on the surface in the Atlantic Ocean. After us watching them for like 20 minutes, they just freaked out and took off. Donna said the mullet needs some stress pills. In this slow motion, right up along the rocks there, right before I point, Right there, you see a tarpon come up and bust those mullet. Yeah, and I'm getting all excited myself, too. 
if you look real close coming right up right here there it is right there I barely capture when our mullet gets attacked by a yet another shark no hookup but I think he kills our mullet Well, we pressed on having Sean man the rod in the back and we tried to get one of those tarpon to take a look at our mullet, but it was pretty much apparent that the tarpon were ambushing the mullet schools up in the crevices of the jetty rocks. And uh, we saw tarpon literally up in pockets in the rocks just exploding on the mullet. To the trained eye, these mullet are very easy to spot. They don't even have to jump out of the water to let you know they're in the vicinity. Not sure if you can see them in this shot, but there's just literally thousands and thousands of them swimming around the boat. I hope you too can join me aboard the Jetty Wolf, because during the fall and winter seasons and even the spring, out here along these legendary granite boulders, provide some of the best and exciting action in the whole Jacksonville area. So come on, let's go to the jetties together.